Okay, here is my Old Town Pack Canoe. This is new to me about uh, six to eight weeks ago, I guess. Nearly two months. And there's not a lot of uh, video of these online. So I thought I'd put uh, a little bit more. Before I bought this thing, I went, went all nutty, checking everything out online, reading every for, every post on every forum about them, which I guess there's a lot of posts. Uh, not as many photos and even less videos. So uh, for those that aren't familiar, it is a 12-foot uh, boat that uh, is made to be very lightweight. It is uh, only 33 pounds. So, um, I myself, I have a bad back. And I can pick this up uh, very easily with two hands and I can just set it on one shoulder and carry it around. Uh, once it's on my shoulder, it's uh, I barely need one hand to support it on that shoulder. I usually put it right on my left, my left shoulder and uh, if there's any wind, maybe I'll use my second hand. Um, but second hand would only be needed to keep it from blowing around um, and uh, I can load it uh, on my car very easily and forgive the noise I'm uh, not out in the backwoods today this is Madison Chain of Lakes there's uh, FedEx airplanes landing in the background and military helicopters and an interstate and all that so uh, never mind all that I once had a someone tried to acute they heard high uh, cars on the highway in the background and they tried to they made it sound like I'm a fake or something I was never pretending to be anywhere than right here in town anyways this is uh, a uh, look at uh, how I'm doing it right now I'm still trying to figure out how to uh, load it up and uh, get it to balance correctly uh, this is my uh, uh, canoe pack uh, Frost River Isle Royale. I've had it about a year and still trying to figure out um, how to load the pack correctly and then where exactly to load it in here. It seems to balance real well. I'll step back a little bit. You can see the seat is definitely behind the center of the boat. And the pack I think is about 40 pounds how it is. I got a bunch of heavy stuff in there right now. Um, I like heavy bomb proof stuff so I got an old Coleman stove in there and a heavy stainless cook set and all kinds of stuff but a uh, heavy uh, dry bag in there so it uh, even if the canvas soaks water up it uh, it's waterproof it should float hopefully if uh, if I tip it over but um, anyways that's you know part of me wants to have it in front of that front thwart but then it's a little too front heavy kind of I think the boat rides best like this but um, the boat is rated for uh, 550 to 600 pounds, which is a little hard to believe. I'm not sure if it could really handle all of that. But I'm only about 160 pounds. The pack's at about 40. I got another 20 pounds of stuff in here. And uh, I mean, obviously, I could, uh, it can handle a lot more. It feels to me as though it would very easily and very safely be able to handle another 50 plus pounds in the front and probably another 50 plus pounds in the back and still be pretty safe um, but uh, I think then I would still probably only be at uh, 300 pounds or so or under 350 um, I don't know if I would try to really get it more than about 400 pounds in here but uh, the manufacturer says 550 to 600 and that's uh, that's pretty remarkable. That's a lot more than any of the uh, comparable size kayaks. Um, I will say, however, uh, almost every review, everybody's saying uh, to use a double-bladed kayak style uh, paddle. Um, and uh, I kind of wanted to be a tough guy about it and just uh, use a single blade one. And there's a lot of a lot of things I like about the single blade. Uh, I've got a nice uh, Wisconsin made bending branches here. Um, but um, I think I'm, I got a cheapo back up in the, the back there too. But um, 
I really think I'm going to have to try a double bladed out just because, um, you know, I'm not real strong. I don't have a real strong back or uh, shoulders or arms. And uh, not much wind today, so I didn't really have any problems with the single blade. But crossing lakes or uh, when it's real windy, uh, I don't know. Because of my, uh, I don't quite have the upper body strength that some of the, some people that have been canoeing for years have. And uh, I'm just going to have to try to cheat a little bit and pick up a double blade of paddle. And then I'll still bring the second uh, single blade along. See how that works out for me. Um, so, uh, I'm sure there's another uh, point or two I wanted to bring up that I'm forgetting. Oh yeah, I do have in the back here, this might be a little off topic, I wanted a light because I do night fishing. This is, by the way, <clears throat> I'm stumbling over logs. This is the Angler Edition and it comes with a Scotty rod holder. I don't have the holder here, but that's the mount. I added a second mount. I have a second matching holder so I control with the rod off of each side or I, I usually uh, anchor. It has an anchor mount in the front that came with an anchor too. I usually anchor at uh, about uh, 12 feet just outside the weed edges and I jig for bluegills and crappies um, like that and I can that way I can work three rods at once which is the uh, law here in Wisconsin we're, we're allowed three lines so I can uh, you know, have like uh, two out for panfish and then maybe jig for a, or, or cast for a walleye or something. Or just troll, as I said. Anyways, a lot of big power boats out there on Lake Mendota. It's 90, like 9,600 acre lake, almost 10,000 acre lake. And I had water skiers. You know, if I'm out in, at the 12 foot weed edge, I'm, uh, I don't know, probably one to 200 yards from shore, which is, uh, you know, so this is a very small boat. This boat only sits about six eight inches above the water line. It's only 11 and a half inches depth. Um, so this is a light for night fishing for walleyes, but it also has, it's a flag. And the entire light fits inside the flag is the bag. So I, the light is not really needed today because I'm on an area with no power boats, but a uh, week ago, I was on a different local creek. You see what I'm paddling in this little creek here. If you notice how low it is compared to the, like all the brush and stuff. I was on a similar creek last week and ran into some hunters with shotguns and I kind of surprised them. And, uh, you know, I'm not afraid of guys with guns or whatever, but, you know, I'd rather not surprise them. I'd rather them see me coming. Um, I can't really safely put this together one-handed, so I will uh, pause the video and try to do some video editing. I'm uh, going to show you how this mounts in the factory mount there because I did try the Scotty brand light at first and uh, it did not work out. So if you own this boat or if you own another Old Town boat that has this kind of deck, uh, you should stay tuned for a look at this light because the, the Scotty one is very loose in there and does not work well. This is the Vizi Carbon Pro by Yak Attack, and it's the model that has the Scotty mount, but for whatever reason, this Scotty mount on this light fits in here far better than the Scotty brand light itself does, or at least the one that I bought. Um, and I'm pretty confident that this mount seems to be designed around this light. So uh, stay tuned, I'll try to do some uh, pause, try to do a little editing and get that to work. <laughs> 